What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Program Aids and welcome back to the series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn about arrays which allows us to store a list of values in JavaScript. So let's get started. In JavaScript, we use an array to store multiple values together. Let's imagine a scenario where we want to store the names of 100 people. If we start storing each name in a single variable, we would have to create 100 different variables. In such cases, we can use an array to store 100 values at once. Here, names is an array that is storing all the names of 100 people. All these names enclosed inside the square bracket are called elements of the array. To be an array, the elements should be enclosed inside the square braces. Parentheses will not do. Now that we know the benefits of using an array, let's see an example. I will go back to my code editor and create an array called routine. So I can say const routine equals, as I mentioned, we use square brackets for arrays. So let me store two strings, eat, and the elements are separated by a comma and sleep. Here, eat and sleep are called the elements of the array routine. Now let me print the array. So I'll say console.log routine and press run. You can see that I get eat and sleep. I get the array back as I had created it. Now let's see one more example. This time I'll create an array of numbers just to show you that array also works with numbers. So I'll say const numbers equals two, three, five, and seven, all prime numbers and console log numbers. Let me press run and you can see that I got an array of numbers. Here's where it gets interesting. We can also create an array with elements of different types in JavaScript. Let me show you. I'll create an array and store values of different types. So I'll remove this old code and say const arr equals, let me start with eat and another string sleep. And now I can put in a number, another number, and maybe another string. And when I console log this ARR variable and press run, I get the output properly. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro, where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges, which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. So far, we've been printing complete array elements at once. Now let's see how we can access each element of the array. To access an array element, we need something called an array index. An array index is a unique number associated with each array element. Suppose we have an array like this. So I'll remove this old code and let me create an array called my array equals h e l l and o oops not the variable o the string o all right now an array index starts from zero that's why the index of the first element h is zero the second element is one and so on now we can use this index number to access the corresponding character let's access each character one by one so I'll go back to my code editor and I'll write to access the first character console.log my array and inside square brackets zero. Here I have used the array name followed by square brackets and inside this the index of the element which I want to access. So let me press run and you can see that I get h which is the first element in this array. Now to get the third character, I can write instead of 0, 2. And when I press run, you can see that I got L, which is the third element in this array. In this way, you can access other elements using the corresponding index number. We can also find the length of an array using the length property. The length of an array is the number of elements present inside the array. Let me give you an example. I'll Take my array which I already have and console log my array dot length. Now when I press run, you can see that I got five 
which is the number of elements in the array containing the characters H E L L O. Once an array is defined, we can also add other elements to the array. To add an element to an array, we use the push method. Let me show you how. Let me go back to my old array of routine. So routine is eat and sleep, which is not healthy at all. Now I want to add the element exercise. I can use the push method as routine.push and exercise. After this, if I do console.log routine, and now when I press run, you can see that the routine variable or the routine array now also has exercise at the end of it. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these kinds of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. We can also change the elements of an array for this Use the index number of the element and use the equal to operator. Let me show you how. So I will go back to my routine array with just eat and sleep. And now suppose I want to change the value of sleep to exercise, then I can use the array index as routine. Now inside the square bracket, since this is the second element and array indexing starts from zero, so zero and one, so routine one equals exercise and if I now console log routine you must have guessed the output by now when I press run I get eat and exercise that means sleep has been replaced by exercise. We can also remove any element from the array to remove an element from an array we use the pop method. Let me give you an example on my code editor let me create an array with four elements so work eat sleep and obviously our favorite exercise now let me use the pop method on the array so I say routine dot pop and now when I console log routine again and press run you can see that exercise is no longer there pop remove the last element from the routine array. By the way, there's also another way to create an array and that is by using JavaScript's new keyword. It is created like this. So I can create something like const routine equals new array. And just like a function, it starts with parenthesis and inside I can put the elements that I want to be in this array. So I can say eat comma sleep and now let me console log routine and when I press run it shows that I've got an array with eat and sleep as its elements. So I showed you this so that you don't get confused if you see this kind of syntax somewhere else. Now to practice what you've learned here's a programming task for you create an array named greet with values hello and hi. Now find the length of this array, add a new element, welcome to this array and find the length of the new array. You'll find the answer to this question in our GitHub repository. Also, if you want to revise these concepts, you can always find these programs in our GitHub repository as well. I'll put the link in the video description below. Now that we've reached the end of this video, it's time for the programming quiz. What is the output of this program? Comment your answer below and I'll see you in the next video. Happy programming.